Benvenuto, welcome. Now, from the time you came to Milan, uh, you have looked for contact with the supporters of Milan. They have been very warm. What did they tell you? Uh, I think they have been fantastic. They are lovely since I came here. They have been the best fans I have seen so far since my career. I think they are wonderful. Uh, actually, they are the ones that make me to sign for Villa, um, AC Milan because they are fantastic. They, um, when I was... Uh, with my national team, they used to send me videos, pictures, tagging me on Instagram. So uh, I love their moments from the way they said, oh, Samuel, you're coming. Uh, will you come today? Will you come tomorrow? <laughs> so I was so, so determined. So I, I said, uh, I told my agent, you have to make the, the two happen because I think I'll be loving Milan. He said, home, I think uh, when the fans love you, it means you're going to do so many wonderful things for them. The most important thing for the fans to love you. It doesn't matter if you are ready to play or anything, but if the fans love you, that means you're going to give them everything they want. So I was very, very happy for them to show me that concern. Because if Milan came and the fans doesn't want me, I don't think I would be here. But, <laughs> but I think the fans was amazing and they are fantastic. I can't wait to meet them once more again. Thank you, Samuel. Now, what about your teammates? Yesterday we saw you in Monza playing with them, uh, laughing also during warm up uh, with your new friends. So, also in the pitch, there's an immediate feeling with your new friends? Yes, I think I have great feelings with them. The first time I entered, it, the first time I saw them, they gave me the impression that I'm. Um, at home, that I should realize that's nothing is happening. So they were fantastic. They were nice to me, uh, especially Ali. <laughs> Ali was so funny every time you call me chuku chuku. <laughs> so it's fantastic. They, they make me to realize. They make me to feel at home. It's the most important thing to have teammates like this to show you around, to show you what's good and what's bad. So I think they are fantastic. They are good and Leo and everybody. They welcome me very well. They showed me everything. They told me what what I need to do and what I don't need to do. So. I think they are, they show me what family is all about. It. So they are grouping. I think this group of people, uh, my teammates, I think they are fantastic. Joking around in the field and everybody is calm. Humility and everything is the most important thing in the, in the team. So they were all calm and good. I think I can't wait to work with them because they are fantastic. Joking around with them, they allow me to joke and everything. I think it makes me to feel at home. It makes me to have the confidence that shows, okay, I'm ready to play in this team. Very well. Samuel, if you close your eyes and you think of the story of Milan, what do you think of? There are many players who made the story of this club. If you think of the past, who do you think of? Uh, you have to come back to that question because it just cracked, so I didn't hear you very well. Yes, uh, who do you think of? Which players do you think of when you think uh, of Milan? Um, when I think about the past of this, this great club and everything, I think um, I watched Ricardo Kaka and when he was playing against Manchester United, <laughs> the goal he scored against Manchester United, I think that was a fantastic goal and in the Champions League. I think that was the most important thing I have seen in my life. A fantastic uh, player, the one that believes in God and everything, I think. It's amazing. It's the one that I know uh, when I uh, when I close my eyes, I remember I said, oh, the one Liverpool in the finals letter. I think <laughs> it was a fantastic feeling. I'm um, Ricardo Kaka is a fantastic player. I think he's the person that if I close my eyes, I say, who played in this? I say, oh, Ricardo Kaka, because I didn't watch so many of other great players, but I watched Ricardo Kaka. Francesco Rocchira. Okay, this is Francesco Rocca. Hello, Samuel. So you have already won because you are so friendly. Now, what about your friends? Uh, uh, did you find one as uh, fun as you, laughing as you, funny as you? Yeah, I've already found one. <laughs> uh, I've already seen uh, 
um, Adley, the number seven, is very, very funny. Every time, <laughs> every time you always find me looking for my trouble and everything. I think he's a fantastic guy. He's a wonderful guy. He's the one that always comes close to me to ask me about everything. If I don't understand anything the coach said, he's just always there. But <laughs> yesterday he was actually funny. When I sprint, he told me, oh, someone, nice one, nice one. So I think he's a lovely guy. And he's always funny to me, I think. And uh, Noah Kauf also is always close to me. And Liao is always close to me. Anytime I want to dance, he will come close to me to dance with me. And so I think I have, they are actually making me to feel comfortable to showcase my, my talent in this great club. Okay, hello Samuel and welcome to Italy. We talked about your new friends, but there's a beautiful relationship with Stefano Pioli. So you have the right ideas, he has the right ideas. What did you talk about with Mr. Pioli? What is the project he has for you? Yeah, I think uh, as a coach, um, before I came here, he assured me um, that I'm going to play. So I think he's a fantastic man. So he called me the first time. The first time when I was in the national team, I made a call with him. So he called me and he told me the tactical and everything that I need to know. Because, because he's one of the, he told me, oh, somewhere this is what we want, have to do. This is why we want to sign you. And this is what we want from you. So I think if actually he doesn't want me, he will not like to sign me. <laughs> So actually, he want me in his team. So if a coach doesn't want me, he cannot say, oh, Samuel, you have to come or you have to do this. No. He told me, oh, Samuel, I want you. I want you in my team. You are part of my project in this uh, great club. So that's what motivated me. That actually what pushed me. And I think if I didn't talk to the coach, I think I would not, I would not think about it. But the fans always tried to shake me a little bit. But the coach was wonderful. He talked to me very nicely and told me what he wants from me and everything. I think he, he's a wonderful coach. The way he spoke to me, the way he said um, things that he wants to do, the way he wants to develop this team, I think that was motivates me. Because if a coach has a, a project that he wants to do, and if a coach called me and he doesn't have a project, I don't think I will be here. But he has a project, and I saw the project, and I believe in the project that he's planning to do. So as I see, we have a fantastic players that he have already grouped into. So I think um, he told me every fantastic player that he's going to sign and everything. So that what motivates me to be in this place. So I think he's a fantastic man, and he's a great coach. I think for now we have to give him time because we have new players who have to adapt to so many places. So I think within time, I think we're going to kill Syria. Don't worry. <laughs> this is Marco from Gazeta. Hello, Samuel, and welcome. Now, I'd like to tell you, last year you had your best season in terms of goals, 13 goals in the championship and the Cups. Do you think you can do the same or even better with Milan, maybe 20, so a goal man? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, every season, everybody grows. That's why you're a footballer. It makes you great. Every season, everybody grows. You try to make, you try to overpass what you have done the last part. The last, the thing I, I did in La Liga last season, I've already passed. This is a new challenge for me, so I have to do great. I have to write my name in the wall of Milan, so I have to make history also here. So for me, I think this is a challenge for me. Last season. It have already passed. I have already made a great impact in Villarreal and everything. So I think in Milan is a great opportunity for me to showcase my talent and everything. I think for here, I think I'm going to make everybody proud. I think I'm ready to take up this challenge. But it's nothing to be scared about. And I've already set my goal, so don't worry. So your friends and the coach, the company, did they tell you what it means to play in San Siro? Yeah, they have already told me about what it means to play in San Siro. They have already told me um, the coach, um, most especially the players, they told me the atmosphere and everything. But the most important thing I've played in stadium that is more difficult. So playing in San Siro is not going to be bad, but I just want to feel the fans. I want to hear the fans chant. So when the fans chant, I think it's going to motivate me to do more.
Federico Mazzini. This is Federico from Tutto Sport. Hello, Samuel. You talked about Kaka, but in your role, so um, right wing, uh, is there a football player who was an inspiration for you? For example, Robin was very famous as a wing. Uh, do you have a favorite uh, inspirer? No, no other player inspired me apart from Robin. I think Robin is a fantastic player. He's one of the best right winger I've seen in my life. <laughs> He's so quick and he can dribble anybody wants to dribble. If he faces you one against one, anything one or two against two. He's quick and he's so quickly brought and everything. So I think I haven't seen anybody that can match his energy and his quality that he has. So I haven't seen anyone. So that's why every game I watch his clip to learn so many things. Sometimes when I'm in my room, I, w I used to watch him. I used to watch his clip to understand so many things that he does as inside the pitch because he's so quick and he's so nice. Vincenzo Matrone. This is Vincenzo. Hello, Samuel. Welcome to Milan and welcome to Milan, the team. In these few days, did you see some differences in coaching, training, organization, tactics between Villarreal and Milan? For me, I think that's a little bit different in Milan. Milan is a big club to compare to Villarreal. There are so many medias and there are so many fans outside when you are coming inside the, <laughs> inside the training ground and in the stadium also. My first time when I, when I wanted to sign, when I landed at the airport, uh, I saw so many fans chanting my name. So my, that was when I realized that also I have welcome to one of the biggest clubs in the whole world. So it's different to compare AC Milan to Villarreal, although Villarreal is also a big club in Spain, but AC Milan is ahead of them. So I think um, I have seen so many things, so many, so many different things in, in Milan, because I think Milan is a great club and the fans and everybody, when I enter inside the dressing room, everybody is, everything is different. It's, it's, it's a wonderful club. I think it's one of the best clubs in the whole world. Simone, hi Samuel. Last year you made two goals at Bernabeu. Uh, what is the challenge you would like to take up in Italy? Maybe Inter, Juventus, this kind of competitions? Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a nice question. Uh, the first thing, uh, I can't wait to get started. I can't wait, to, I can't wait for the league to get started. Uh, the first thing is to win the first league. And any opponents, I don't care where they're from or anything. But I think we have a great team to beat any team in Syria. We have a fantastic team. We have, we are ready, and the coach is ready also. So um, meeting against Inter, Juventus, everything. They are big club also. So nothing is there. If we can be for sure. We can beat them. So beating them is not for we for we to win this good. I think we need to beat this club. So 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 I'm ready to win this good because I came here to win. I came here to win trophies. So for us to win this good, I think we have to beat these teams. So. Any team that comes our way, I think we are ready to beat them. This is Claudio. Hello, Samuel. Welcome. You mentioned the Kaka and the Magic Knights from Milan some years ago. Last year, the team arrived to the semi final. Are you ready to write the new pages of Milan European story? Yeah, for me, I think that's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come here to be watching, to be eating or to be doing anything else or to win the money or anything, but I'm here to win trophy because that's why they signed me and this is my work. I don't have another work apart from playing football. So my football, my work is to win trophy and to write my name in the history of Milan so that when everybody, any player, anybody just come across and say, oh, which people want this? They say, ah, so they will see my name and say, oh, so much you guys was in Milan. Ah, everybody will say, ah, that's great. I want to make a name for, for myself and for my family and for Milan also, because I think it's, it's a great achievement in my career to, to win something, because I cannot come to AC Milan, I cannot win something. It's a great club to win something. And when you win something, I think you have already won the heart of everybody in the club and the fans also. So I think my first project here, my first priority is to win to win something 
um, Scudetto, Champions League, any cup, Italia cup, I think that AC Milan is involved. It's the most important thing for me to win. I don't care where, how it's going to happen, but I know I'm going to win trophy here. <laughs> Ciao Samuel. Hello uh, Samuel, welcome again. I know you already talked about this, but how important was the recommendation from your friends Victor Osumen to come here to Italy? Uh, he was my best friend, you know. he's my best friend. Um, who played from under, 15, um, under 17 to the Super Eagles and the biggest stage. I think he's one of my best friends, my best friend because we started together. I think anything that happened to me, I used to ask him, hey, how is Syria? Uh, how is the football? Yeah, how is everything? He said, and I said, ah, look, AC Milan is coming. How do you see the club? He said, wow, it's a big club. It's a fantastic club. I said, how do you see the league? That's what I first asked. He said, ah, Syria, ah, if I go there, I'm going to kill it. I said, are you sure I'm going to kill it? He said, yes, I'm going to kill it. I said, wow. He said, um, but the most important thing is for me to talk to the coach and make sure the coach actually want me in his project. So I said, oh. <laughs> I said, okay, no problem. I'll ask the coach. So eventually he said, um, he's a fantastic coach. I will be supporting you to go to, to go to AC Milan. AC Milan is a wonderful mm -hmm. club. It's a big club in Italia. Everybody knows AC Milan. He said, even if uh, my agent is saying, oh, don't let look what he said. No, no, no. You have to come to AC Milan. It's one of the best club. And we just joke about it. He said, I wish Napoli wanted to sign me that he were already told me to go to Napoli, but I should go to AC Milan. <laughs> so he was a wonderful guy. So we joke around. And I told him, hey, you know, when we meet together in Syria, you know what's going to happen? He said, he will beat me. I said, don't worry. I know you cannot beat a similar next game. <laughs> so we just joke around and he's a funny guy. He's a great guy. He's one of the best person I've seen in my life. So he's a wonderful guy. Thank you. This is from Milan Press. Hi, someone. Welcome. We know supporters have dreamt about you. Social videos and then social networks. Uh, and then at last you are here. So is this negative? Is this under pressure for you? Or is this energizing you? You are a dream for us. I try is motivating me. No one fancies on your side. I think it's motivating. It makes you to do everything. You're not trying to please them, but you're trying to please yourself because the first thing to do is to please yourself. There is no pressure. I've played under pressure for so many times. I've, this, I've played five years professional football with Villarreal. I've seen so many. I've played under big teams and everything, Champions League. So I'm not any under pressure with anybody or anything. I'm just here to enjoy myself and have fun. That's the most important thing. The first thing is for you to have fun. Have fun, enjoy yourself, and every other thing will come along. Because if you're under pressure, that means you're not ready. <laughs> well, when, when you're out of pressure, when you know, oh, I'm here to enjoy myself, I'm here to play football. Even if you do mistake, it's normal. It's football. Everybody does mistake in football. So when you do mistake, the only thing, the mentality you have to do is to keep working and keep pushing to not to repeat the mistake again. That's what shows that you are ready to, to be in this stage. So I think for me being here, I think the fans is not putting any pressure for me. I think I love them already. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Samuel. Thank you so much. So we are finished. Yes. Uh, 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 I was a little bit shy. Uh,